Okay, let's do a couple more examples in section 6.3, and then we'll be finished with it. Let's see. How about the cosine of 2x plus the cosine of x equals 0? I want x to be in the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So we're using radians. Now in this case, you've got um, an x forever for, um, angle and a 2x. You can't really have both. You need to get it down to one uh, angle. Now if you can make the x into a 2x, that'd be okay, but it's easier to change the 2x into an x because we've got identities for those. And since this is a cosine, we're going to do the cosine of one of the three for the cosine 2x. It's going to be 2 cosine squared x minus 1 plus cosine x equals 0. So now this is going to be a trinomial again. 2 cosine squared x plus cosine x minus 1 equals 0. Now let's see, can we factor this? This is a negative 1. So I don't know. 2 cosine x and cosine x, that's how you get 2 cosine squared x, and a 1 and a 1 for the 1. Got to be opposite signs and the middle term is positive, so we'll make this positive for the 2 cosine x and negative for the cosine x. I think that works. 2 cosine squared x, negative cosine x, positive 2 cosine x is just 1 cosine x and a negative 1. Good. Okay. So 2 cosine x minus 1 equals 0, or the cosine x plus 1 equals 0. Here 2 cosine x equals 1, or cosine x equals 1 half. And here cosine x equals negative 1. Both of these are special angles. So we're going to take this first special angle. Where's the cosine positive? Boy, we've done this a few times. First and fourth. If you forget them, you can bring this back and say, hmm, the cosine is 1 half right here, pi over 3. So this is a pi over 3. And this is a multiple of pi over 3. How many of them are there? Well, 2 pi is 6 pi over 3, so this must be 5 pi over 3. Those are your two answers. We've got one for the other. Let's see. When is the cosine equal to 1? That's when you've got this square root of 4 over 2, because then it'll be 2 over 2. That's at 0. There's not two of them, because it'll be at 0 or this pi, but that's a negative 1. So it's just the 0. So your three answers. 0 radians, pi over 3 radians, 5 pi over 3 radians. Cool. So sometimes you have to use a trig identity to get these angles the same. Okay, what happens? When you've got a problem, oh, I don't know, like cosine 5x plus cosine 3x equals 2 cosine 4x. Now, this is going to use the sum and difference properties. Let's see here. Let me get all these and on one side in a second. And this uses one of the identities that we did not memorize. It is this one. The sum of two cosines with different angles. So we're going to change this. The A is going to be 5x and the B is 3x. So it's going to turn into a 2 cosine. A plus B, or 5x plus 3x, which is 8x over 2. So 
let's do the 5x plus 3x over 2 times the cosine of a minus b, or 5x minus 3x over 2. That's 2 cosine 4x. Okay. Now, so this is really 2, well, we can divide both sides by 2. This is really cosine 5x plus 3x is 8x over 2 is 4x. And this is the cosine 5x minus 3x over 2 is 2x over 2, so it's just x. This is cosine 4x. So now we can take and subtract this cosine 4x from both sides. So it's cosine 4x cosine x minus cosine 4x equals 0. Remember, these are not identities. It's so tempting to try to make this one side look like the other. But we're trying to solve for x here. And we got a 4x and an x, but I can factor those out. Let me factor out a 4x. And we're left with cosine x minus 1. And not everything has to have the same angle if it's a factor. So this is a factor and that's a factor, and we're going to solve those individually. Because the cosine of 4x equals 0, or cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. So we didn't have to have the 4x and the x. The last problem we did, we need them all the variables the same because we couldn't split it up like that. Now, this is a cosine of 4x is when the cosine is 0. Remember the cosine of 0 from the last one? At 0. I'm sorry, at pi over 2. But that was, and I guess at 3 pi over 2. Because that's when the x is 0. But you've got to go around this thing four times. So it's not just pi over 2, but it's pi over 2, and these are all halves. So 2 pi is really 4 pi over 2s. So you keep adding 4 pi over 2s, right? It's pi over 2. Then you add, then you got to do this four times. Add 4, so it's 5 pi over 2. Add 4, so it's 9 pi over 2. Add 4, so 13 pi over 2. Now you do the 3 pi over 2. Add 4, 7 pi over 2. Add 4, 11 pi over 2. And add 4 is 15 pi over 2. That's all from just this one part here. Remember, this is for 4x. So we're going to do this then just for x. Multiply by 1 fourth. So part of this is going to be times 1 fourth is pi over 8. 5 pi over 8. 9 pi over 8. 13 pi over 8. Then um, times that's 3 pi over 8, 7 pi over 8, 11 pi over 8, and 15 pi over 8. And those answers in green are the answers to that one. Oh my gosh, right? Pretty cool. Two answers changes it into 8. Here cosine x equals 1. There's only place where the cosine is 1, now it's here. So that's one time around the circle, no other place where it's equal to 1. So this is just 0. And that's what we add in green to our list to get all the answers. So now you know how to do not only single angles but multiple angles if there's a half angle you only go around the circle halfway leave off anything else you don't get to this we run around four times I tell you it's just really really fun